Greetings and salutations. Welcome back to this multiplayer game of Civilization 6. I'm Keb. And I'm Perry. And I'm currently beating up on my neighbors. As you do. They were nice enough to set, put themselves forward on the firing range, and I'm, I'm just, well, obliging them. Meanwhile, I'm moving my armies towards a certain... Doom. Uh, Skidian. No, Skidian decided it was time to attack Geneva again, so... Oh, that's what, that's what was the issue that you were bringing up. Mm-hmm. And Geneva is my ally, but or rather my I'm the suzerain of it, but I didn't call, call into this war, which is kind of surprising. I would have assumed. Maybe they're ba bashful. It also dawns on me that my units are a bit archaic. What are you fielding? Uh, pretty much field cannons and stuff like that. I, I upgraded one of my units to an infantryman right now, so... I mean, I haven't been at war for a long time, so I haven't really cared about it. But it dawned on me now that, you know what, maybe I should get a few... few units. Ah, and all these apostles. Don't need them. But you still want them. They can't give me relics. They can't give me relics, so they're not that much valuable. Oh, right, you were supposed to build a forest, I think. Yeah, right. Not a forest. My name is Forest. Forest. I need forests for my neighborhoods. Oddly enough, I need to get rid of forests to get them out of my neighborhoods. Hey, oh no, you're the right unit. You need to... All right, little guy, you went very much the wrong way. So now you're like two way out of position. See now, where else did I have military units? Do I really have that few? Uh, there's a scout. What are you doing here? Ugh. Move over here. I think I had some artillery pieces. There we go. You went there. You start moving towards Scythia. Oh, there we go. You're up here and guarding the Australian border. Mmm, Aussies. Well, they were pretty much guarding for barbarians, and those aren't there anymore. taking over the Australian territory, given that all the Outback stations just go boof. Well, it means even if they end up with it back, it doesn't help them that much. Yeah, what my point being, they, they, that means the terrain is going to be a lot less valuable to you as well. My, yes, but the value I'm looking for is their death. <laughs> okay, game. Thank you.
Oh. Uh. No, no, you're not. That's. I appreciate you being willing to offer me deals, but that's the wrong combination as it is. Needs to be a cannon. So let's see, Scythia, do you have any chance of actually taking Geneva? No. And you already knew that. I think it's time to... There we go. Let's denounce Scythia's evil deeds. I mean, just in case they actually take Geneva. Then I'll have to teach them why you do not do such things. I wouldn't say such things if I were you. Well, I'm researching bomber tanks, so... Yes, I know you're winning. Not that I have any airfields anywhere near... or any capacity to build them, but... We're gonna have the tech. No one would have believed in the last years. Ooh, War of the Worlds. HD Wells. Always a good choice. Except when it's not. Just produce it. Mm. Come to think, I don't recall if I've read the book. I really don't recall. I think I've seen many movie adaptions, but I don't think I read, actually read the book. I mean, I know I read the time machine. But yeah. I don't think I read War of the Worlds. Hmm. Kev will be back in a little bit, folks. <laughs> I'm currently on a Jules Verne reading reading all reading spree, so maybe afterwards. After something. Yeah, it just dawned on me that I hadn't read the actual versions of Verne, but rather the uh, abridged versions, the shorter down ones. Okay. I don't know if you know the story, but yeah. When Verne's books were first published in England, they were treated as they were children's lit literature, so yeah. they were cut down like by a third. Tol Tolkien's Lord of the Rings is basically viewed almost the same way. Uh -huh. Very common. Meanwhile, I live below elephants. Where is where are you hiding? Jules Verne hiding? Man, you got you got a lot of stuff on your Chopin list. <laughs> huh. the it just irks me to see. Hmm. I go ahead, it irks you to see what? It irks me to see the uh, Nidaros has two oil deposits on either side of it, but it's at four squares away, so I can't buy it. Well that's that's a Nuisance and a half. Uh, don't think of it. I could probably. Yeah, let's. Oh, well, uh, yeah, that would require money. Never mind. I was thinking I could buy the one square they would have to take by culture push. Because then, that, then the all then the resource squares would be next. But... No such no. luck. Uh, that would require gold, and right now I need the gold to upgrade my archaic military, I think. Guys, I know for 2,000 years you've been using those, ac those stone axes, but guess what? Here's a machine gun. Have fun. <laughs> Japan has developed colonialism.
Do, 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 do. Got this silly thing stuck in my head. Oh, it's bound to happen. Yeah, I know. Um, if I build that, I need space to build. Oh dear. Um. Hmm. No, that's reasonable for what I'm doing right now. some of those out. Actually, wait, no, that's an even better idea. Even better idea. As long as it works. I'd be satisfied with it just not failing. something. How do you repair the pillage tiles? It's not letting me. It should just be a builder thing. Yeah. It should be a repair. But not if it's a uh, oh, wait, district. It's, I think districts, it's yeah. the city. Yeah, then, then you have to go into the city and the city has to repair it. Having that industrial zone pillaged is going to be is painful. Uh huh. All right, new cannon, come out here, and enjoy the old cannon. Someday artillery, I'll, up, I'll level you up. <laughs> but you're kind of busy right now. Oh, Skidia. Dear Skidia. See, there's a machine gun there, a machine gun there. The rest of the units are still inbound. It's going to take a while. Just a little bit. Uh, but then again, if I see Skidia actually making progress on Gen Geneva, then we might have to... Speed up your timetable. Yeah... Let's see, where did I hide my battleship? Oh, right, you're protecting that guy. Um, probably don't have to, though. Yeah, I think our battleship will just, you know, go on a cruise of, the, of a certain coastline. The Scythian coastline. The former Scythians. Oh, Scythians are... Just... Soon to be ex-Scythians. Yeah. Gonna pick up some shells and return some others. <laughs> We're sending you a battleship. We want to show you our shell collection. <laughs> We're not shellfish, so yeah. We're willing to share. Oh! 
Australia, you still have army units. No, oh, you shouldn't tell. Why did I just get a barbarian warning? Oh, never mind. I see who that is. Hmm, that apostle is gonna go and interfere. Yes, go. Oh, you can go here at least. And with that, rebellion smushed. Yay! We greatly appreciate your support in this time of our trouble. Oh, where do I want to put you to next? No, you're not that. All that and a bucket of chips. Dear Australia, I've been running you over with a single artillery piece. I'd like to introduce you to the second one we now have. Mm. Final, final level on that one. There we go. Aerodrome. You must take to the skies. Because why not? <gasps> Yay, another sculpture to feed on. Sculptures taste yummy. Yeah, that doesn't get any less disturbing. Just, you know, FYI. <laughs> well, I'm still amused by how it actually works, so yeah. I'm thinking of the one villain from... Uh, or the one dungeon boss from uh, Wrath of the Lich King, and it keeps going, Must feed. <laughs> Plink. Plink? Plink. What? Plink. That's the sound of my field cannons against city walls. Plink. <laughs> Synonymous. That's underwhelming. That's because it's very much underwhelming. Fortunately, Plink is about to be joined by battleships, so that should be a little bit more plunk. <laughs> I think that was everything. Well, you never know. I don't. That's, that's not. That's not good. Why don't I know? Very simple. That was my explanation. I'm sure that's why. Let's see. Dig. Choose artifacts. Oh. And I didn't get to choose. For once. Okay. And. So many units. There we go. Oh, Australia. Why are you being funny? Offering your peace deal again? Oh, no. Well, actually, yes, they are. Oh my, Skiddy has been building up quite you the army. You can never plan the future. Granted, yeah. it's pretty much all obsolete units, but still. I find it funny that Br that Australia keeps offering me a city I haven't taken in the peace deal. They keep wanting to give me Brisbane. It's like, how do you feel if you live in Brisbane? It's like... Why <laughs> We're loyal Australians. We'll we'll never. Uh, why are we being offered up as a peace treaty? <laughs> I 
Okay, game, I'm sorry. That should have done a heck of a lot more damage to the walls. Battleship cannons are specific, <laughs> are singularly well designed at taking on things like walls, cities, things that can't move. It's called game balance, you know. In a game that's mocked because the early generations of it allowed for sp phalanxes of spearmen to sink battleships, you think they would work on it in other ways. Just that's just my my two cents. So it's. <laughs> yeah, let's see. I actually need a couple of those. Hey, second cannon. Yes, 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 sure. Yeah. Well, that's one way to get al aluminum. Oh? <laughs> yeah, a city was, my city of, of Swenet was already built on top of it. Yeah, that helps. Bansa Congo is starting to grow quite nicely. You what, are you 30 yet? Nope, 29. But 30 is certainly within reach now. I'm still struggling to get to 12. Yeah, most of my cities are, are quite large because of the incredibly cheap neighborhoods. I also have the issue where I have not had amenities. There are things I would do differently, in, or will do def definitely. <laughs> Yeah, words. <laughs> yeah, I know. The things I will do definitely. Oh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> things I'll do differently too next game. Though I will be warmongering, I guess. You're always warmongering. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's ingrained in me since Civ 1. You always kill the first Civ you meet, and then you go No, it's, it, well, Civ 1 didn't engrave that in you. You were that way when you first played Civ 1. <laughs> <laughs> if you're Viking heritage, you're not actually truly true to your culture unless you go and burn things down. Repeatedly, with joy. Whoever she, <laughs> whoever she is. Well, that's right. I hadn't checked. You can camp there. I'm going to leave that small infantry garrison back in the north, just in case I spawn another rebellion. <laughs> My apostle was attacked by an enemy apostle. Where? What? Who? Who? What? That's a um, mission impossible. But who still has apostles? I thought pretty much everybody was dead. Um. Unit housing, that's fine. Unit attacked. Oh, Japan's born an apostle. Yeah, Japan's got its own religion. 
And okay, armor. That's fine. What? Oh, for the love of Pete. There's our time. This time. Ah, Pete's just a treacherous bastard, that's all. <laughs> did Spain... Oh, did Spain... Did uh, Japan do something again? No, Perth's got some forests north of it, which are actually blocking my artillery. Ah. The one that was unblocked, I moved, thinking it was the new one coming up that was... Blo uh, so, long story short, oops... <laughs> and that was our oh, timer, well. so we'll yep. pick this up next time. time. Yep. Mm -hmm. Thanks, folks.